Hey, Rob here for Quadratech. You may recognize the Jeep behind me, our 2022 Jeep Wrangler JL Unlimited Sport that we recently took out to Easter Jeep Safari. And you may be wondering, if you didn't catch that video, why we took a stock Jeep out to Moab, Utah. Well, it's because we wanted to announce that we're gonna be giving this Jeep away. Now, just a few short months from now, we're going to be handing the keys over to this Jeep to its brand new owner. However, we've got some really cool stuff in store for this between now and then. Of course, there's no way we could give this thing away in stock form. Now, if you guys wanna find out how to get yourself entered to win this giveaway, you can click the info button or the link down in the description below to head over to quadratech.com. You can make a purchase up to once per week or fill out the entry form once per week to get yourself entered to win this Jeep. And of course, all the legal details are over there. I'm not gonna bore you guys with those today. You can head over there and read those in your spare time. Now we've partnered up with some really great brands and manufacturers for this build up. Of course, we've got that Best Top Super Top Ultra already installed on our Wrangler so that we could enjoy those nice sunny days when we were out in Moab for Easter Jeep Safari. And our other premier sponsor with this giveaway, none other than Mopar Jeep Performance Parts themselves. Now, if you guys haven't already subscribed to our YouTube channel, you're definitely gonna wanna hit that subscribe button. Of course, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and notification icon while you're there so you're sure to catch all of our videos as we build up this Jeep as well as plenty of other content from us here at Quadratech. Now, one of the biggest things that quickly became apparent with a stock Jeep on the trails in Moab was of course, the need for a bigger, more aggressive tire. Well, we have some other things in store before we can put bigger tires on the Jeep, of course. So in the background there, you can see I've got a set of Milestar Patagonia MT tires. Those are 37, 1250, so they're definitely not gonna fit on this Jeep in stock form. Those are wrapped around our brand new Lynx wheels back there, and oh, our friends at Mopar, of course, sent us a crate full of goodies so that we can get those new wheels and tires installed. We've got our Jeep Performance Parts two inch suspension in that crate. I'm gonna be installing that today along with those wheels and tires to begin the transformation of our giveaway. And then of course, we've got a whole host of other products lined up for this Jeep that you're not gonna to wanna to miss. So before we dive into anything farther, why don't I go ahead and get this crate opened up. Before we dive into the install, I wanted to show you the components that you're gonna get with a Mopar two inch suspension for the Wrangler JL. Of course, one of the great things about this kit is that it's coming from the same people that designed, engineered, and built your Wrangler. So who knows it better than Jeep themselves to put together a two inch suspension for you so that you can run some larger wheels and tires on your Jeep. Now Jeep not only gives you the very best high quality OE quality components in this kit, but they've made it pretty easy to install as well. I love that they give you a full sheet of instructions. You can have a shop or the dealership install this kit for you, or you can tackle it right at home. Of course, they walk you through everything every step of the way. And one of the things I really like is they even go as far as giving you your new alignment specifications for the shop when you finish your install to make sure that you're getting the best handling, best driving and best wearing for your components, your tires. But you also get alignment specs there for your headlights to re-aim them to account for that new suspension height. Jeep really does give you everything you need to complete this install. Of course, we've got four new Fox factory shocks. We've got our new coil springs there. Of course, each of these are labeled driver and passenger side. And the other cool thing with a Mopar suspension is that they've designed and built it to match your specific Jeep. So if you've got the two liter turbo under the hood or maybe the 3.6 V6 or the three liter eco diesel, there is a different suspension to account for the different weights of each one of those engine options for you. As we move down the line, you see we've also got extended sway bar end links. We've got all new bump stops, the hardware required to install everything here on the table. We've got two new front lower control arms, our new spring isolators, and of course, well, we've got that Jeep Performance Parts badge to finish off that install, let everyone know what suspension you're running on your Jeep. So without further ado, why don't I go ahead, get this Jeep up in the air so we can start tearing off some of those factory components to get our new Mopar Jeep Performance Part suspension installed. All 
All right, well, with our lower control arm out of the way here on the passenger side, that about takes care of removing everything from our front suspension. Now, before I move on to installing the new components, I wanted to touch on a few of the key steps of your install of a Jeep Performance Parts suspension. Now, it does call for you to loosen all of the bolts for the front control arms. That's two bolts in each upper control arm and two bolts in each lower control arm, as well as things like your frame and axle side track bar bolts. Now, you may be wondering, why do I need to loosen all of these bolts when the only arms that we're replacing are the front lower arms? I wanted to show you exactly why. It's right here. The factory control arm bushings and the new bushings in the Jeep Performance Parts suspension feature a knurled design. Now this metal sleeve is bonded to the rubber part of the bushing and that is all designed to remain stationary inside of your control arm here. Now, that means that once you have all of your bolts torqued to specification, all those knurled edges are going to bite into your control arm mounting brackets preventing them from moving. So if we simply leave all of the other bolts tight and drop that front axle down to make room for our taller spring and shock, it's actually going to preload all of those factory bushings. Now that in turn is going to lead to premature wear and failure from those bushings as well as just poor ride and handling characteristics all around. So it's very important that you make sure that you go ahead and loosen all of those bolts while you're completing the install of your new lower control arms. Once you get everything installed, you're going to wait to tighten everything to spec until you put the Jeep back down on the ground, put the weight of the vehicle on the suspension so that you can go ahead and tighten those bolts to spec, which is going to allow those knurled bushings to bite into those control arm mounts, locking them into place. It's going to lead to nice long lifespan from those bushings as well as a great ride from your new Jeep performance part suspension. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and get our new lower control arm installed here on the passenger side. We can get that new spring and isolator installed as well as our new shock. And we can move on to getting everything installed over in the driver's side. And then we can move on to that rear suspension. Now with those new sway bar end links installed, that's going to wrap up the front end portion of our install here. As I mentioned earlier, I left all of the hardware loose at this point. We're going to wait until the Jeep's back down on the ground before I come back through and torque everything to spec. At this point, we can move on to the rear of the Jeep. Of course, we'll get started by loosening all of the hardware holding the factory control arms in. That's both the lower and upper control arms, as well as the hardware on our rear track bar. Then we can move on to getting the factory sway bar end links out of the way, along with the shocks and springs. At that point, we can go ahead and get our new springs installed. Now you do want to pay close attention when you're installing the springs with your Jeep performance part suspension. Each of your springs are side specific. So that means that you're going to have a different part number label on each spring that shows you exactly which corner of the Jeep it belongs. Now those are all based off the different engine options available in the Wrangler, that 2 liter, 3.6 or 3 liter eco diesel. They've even gone a step farther to make it a bit easier. You can see both of our part number tags with the red color to them are here on the driver's side of the Jeep, while the part number tags with the blue labels go over on the passenger side. At this point, we're ready to go ahead and get our bump stop extensions mounted to the axle here in the rear, along with our new sway bar end links and of course our brand new shocks. And then we'll be ready to drop the Jeep back down on the ground so we can check out those new wheels and tires. What do you guys think? A two inch Jeep performance part suspension combined with a 37 inch tall tire sure does immediately give our giveaway Jeep a total attitude adjustment. Now for the wheels on our build up, we decided to go with the brand new Lynx Trail Gunner wheel. This wheel features a great bullet hole design. It's available in your choice of either a bronze or a satin black like we have here. I think the satin black was the perfect choice. It goes really well with our Sarge green color on our giveaway Jeep. Now this wheel also features a great simulated bead lock for aggressive looks and it's a 17 by nine inch wheel with four and a half inches of backspacing. Now that backspacing means that it is gonna push it out substantially more than that factory wheel would, giving us that really great wide aggressive stance and the ability to run a much wider tire. Now, speaking of tires, 
As I mentioned, we've got a 37 by 1250 wide Milestar Patagonia MT tire on here. Now this tire features a great balance of both off-road traction and on-road manners. You can see we've got these very large voids between the tread blocks, especially here on the shoulder of the tire. That's gonna help to contribute to giving us a really great off-road traction, especially here on the East Coast. And then if we look towards the center of the tire, we'll see a tight grouping of tread blocks running down that center rib. And that's gonna to help to contribute to really well-mannered on-road handling characteristics as well as a quieter ride with less tread noise. And we've also got a substantial amount of siping through the tread blocks. It's gonna to help to shed water away to give us excellent wet weather traction. And we've got a strong three-ply sidewall to give us really great impact resistance against obstacles that we may be rubbing up against on the trail. Now, speaking of rubbing, even with this two inch suspension, well, you can see that we're starting to cut it pretty close here with some clearances, but don't worry, we've got plenty more in store for our 2022 Jeep Wrangler JL giveaway build. Now, if you haven't already, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up button. Of course, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification icon. So be sure to catch the rest of our exciting buildup of this giveaway Jeep. And of course, you're not gonna wanna miss your chance at getting yourself entered at a chance to call this Jeep your very own. You can click that info button, head over to quadratech.com, fill out the entry form or make a purchase up to once per week during the entry period. Of course, all the legal details are over there at the website. I'm not gonna bore you guys with those. You can head over there in your spare time and read those details, but make sure you get yourself entered to win and then stay tuned for the rest of our exciting buildup. Um, next time, I think we're gonna do something about these factory fender flares. Till next time, guys, I'm Rob. I'll see you on the trail, but Right now, I'm gonna to get to work torquing all the bolts in our new suspension. <laughs>